It's your video. This is also a video showing, for the first time ever, driving the beast. <laughs> businesses actually donate uh, formal dresses for kids to make sure that kids can go to prom that cost is not a factor uh, since Jasmine is only 15 and a sophomore cost is definitely a factor it's a little hard to justify paying hundreds of dollars for a dress when she would not actually be going to prom if she was public school but as a homeschooler she gets that advantage so how'd you enjoy it Jess Did you have fun at Gowntown? I did. Yeah. It was a new experience. Really? Really. Uh, that's all you gotta say? What else is there to tell? You know, from that angle, you can probably see up your nose. <laughs> sure. Sure. <laughs> You're weird. We're editing that out. <laughs> she thinks so. I'm gonna delete the video. I have the phone. <laughs> yes. I have the phone. And I have the steering wheel. <laughs> okay. Oh. There are a bunch of idiots on the road today. There are. Holy moly. The upside, yeah. we're in the beast. I think yeah. we'll win. <laughs> we can just drive over all of our opponents. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what happened? So walk us through it. We walked through the door. We were told that it was crowded and good luck by some guy waiting for yes. Someone. Yes, we were. As we walked in, it was behind a curtained off area, and he did tell us good luck. There was a lot of people back there. Yeah, and then we got back there and trying to figure out how all the sizes went. If they went by color, if they went by sizes, or what they were and finally got a, a lady helped us out and then we um we found a few dresses we found four but between finding the four dresses we were approached by the news station and um and they asked if they could interview me and so they did and then they asked if they could follow me around while i searched for dresses and then they also asked if they could film me coming out of the dressing room in each dress. They did. <laughs> they did. And the dress that I got, we, the dress I got, I came out and there was like five people, including the news people, just waiting to see me come out in it. <laughs> they set up the camera and people were wondering what was going on. So more people crowded around to see what they were trying to film since they were just pointing towards the dressing room doors. It was a little awkward. <laughs> and especially we didn't know what was going on. Um, but they did, they singled Jasmine out. Yeah. And she's gonna be on the local news tonight on KOTA. They said they'll have a video uh, that we can share and everything else. And if I can get the link, I'll try to put it in the description. Uh, so if anybody wants to see her on the news too and see how it went. <laughs> oh, and not only that, my mom got interviewed. <laughs> So she gets yes, to she gets to be on the news tonight and possibly in the morning. You should talk to it instead of pointing it at me. Well, you're you're, <laughs> with, you're the one I'm discussing. Ah. So, but yeah, so she gets to be on the news tonight too, talking about homeschooling stuff and all that. And then on a more a morning fluff is what she said. 
or whatever it was. One, one of the gals did say that they would love to talk more and get some ideas and learn about some of the other things we do. That it makes great morning fluff pieces because the morning news is all the feel good stuff. <laughs> that was pretty much what she said. And I, you know, it was funny and I know she meant well, but it did not come across as a very high opinion of the morning news. <laughs> But yeah, so they, they were sweet girls, though. Yes, they were. They were really nice. So God, I feel old saying that. <laughs> Just the whole sweet girl for yes, portion. Yes, because uh, essentially they were just kids who are no longer in school. <laughs> just interns, sorry. No, I, they legitimately have jobs with the news station. They're not interns, but I suddenly feel old because they seemed like kids. <laughs> Taking my oldest prom dress shopping doesn't help. <laughs> it was fun. I enjoyed it. I, I, I was so unsure about the dress. And Which I'll have a picture right in the middle of this video here somewhere of. <laughs> so what kind of accessories do you want to go with it? I want a pair of heels, not giant heels pair of silver heels or something. Uh, chandelier earrings, small pair or teardrop earrings. Okay. And then in, in silver or with crystals on them? I'm, 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 I think just silver. Okay. And I say that because of the dress, which if I haven't already shown it, you'll see in a moment of why silver or crystals. Yeah. Maybe if like for the chandelier, uh, if I found a pair of chandelier rings with like maybe some crystals in it. To Bling it up! bling a ling bling a ling a ling, -a -ling. <laughs> Yeah, and then only other thing would be... Um, it would make somebody sick if you keep wobbling that phone. I'm trying to hold it steady! But well, the, you keep turning. <laughs> well, I'm trying to catch you. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to catch you talking too. We apologize now for anybody who gets motion sick watching this video. Please don't puke on your device. That would mean they can't keep watching us. Well, that's possible. <laughs> if you haven't already puked, don't do it now. There, how's that for a warning? Uh, you should probably put it at the beginning of the video. Just be like, warning, you may have motion sickness while watching this. Warning, we apologize. I'll edit this and put this clip at the start. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I said she should wear a tiara. I don't want a tiara. That, I don't know. It was, I, I didn't want a big poofy dress or anything. But it's exactly what she got. It, it's not giant poofy like Emmy wanted. <laughs> no, it's not as poofy as the green one. No. But here's the green dress she tried on. I'll put a picture of that up. So. And so she tried poofy on. I did, but I, I was... The, I think that, those are the only two I got pictures of, too, because the one didn't fit you. You couldn't get it on. Yeah. No, you got a picture of the black one. Oh, I did take a picture of the black one. Okay, here's the, the other black one that she did try on, which honestly, I half expected her to get. <laughs> and Instead of the blue? Well, because I wasn't sure if the blue was going to fit you or not. But once you saw me in the blue, did you change your mind? Uh, once I saw you in the blue, I forgot the black existed. <laughs> so. That's, that's Honestly, the black was pretty. It was elegant in a grandma funeral kind of way. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> You're insulting my taste in dresses. No. You know? As I told the news gals when we were standing there, because they both asked me after you went back into the dressing room, they're like, do you like that one? And I don't know if they were asking because I made a face after you went in, or if, um, I, or if they were both thinking, huh, that's an interesting choice in prom dress. Because <laughs> um, it's like more like a black tie formal... Like, mm -hmm. I could picture somebody wearing it, like, to a military ball. Not yeah. a teenager going to the prom. 
But at the same time, I didn't want something over the top at first. No. Or anything. And, and it would have been fine. And I encourage my kids to express their own style, which is what I told them. That as my stance is, as long as it fits the dress code, our general requirements as far as clothing coverage, because let's be honest, people. You need to wear more clothes half the time. I don't really care what your opinion is because that's mine and we all have our own. So, um, <laughs> it's a but, good thing I share that, that opinion. Yes. Yes. And she's okay with it. Um, she prefers to not reveal everything God gave her. Um, however, like I told them, as long as it fits within the guidelines, and she likes it that's what mattered um it's i'm not the one wearing it so i don't have to love it mm -hmm. and that goes for a lot of the clothes our kids wear that's why i have a 14 year old who wears thigh high socks on her arm <laughs> because there's holes worn in through she, the heel <laughs> she wore holes through them cut the toes off turned them into gloves and that's what it is and now we're home yeah. <laughs> All right, so we pulled in. I took the camera away from Jasmine. Hi. <laughs> As she pointed out that I was making a not so kind gesture towards my husband who was thinking it was hilarious to stand in front of our van and put his feet next to the sensor so that the sonar would go off. Also forcing me to not be able to fully pull into the driveway. Um, but anyhow, so we had a blast at downtown. Uh, it was, I don't know how I can say we had a blast. Honestly, it was a lot of standing around and waiting. Uh, because of the news crew, I did have somebody to visit with. So yeah. that definitely helped. I, I think I just had fun with trying on the dresses and finding them the waiting part was not fun <laughs> yeah we did stand in line for quite a while because when you have that many girls trying on that many dresses they had four dressing rooms they did have two other little oh. areas that were cordoned off with a curtain that may as well not have been there it was completely see-through and they asked us like well do you mind sharing a dressing room and i'm thinking well what do you mean share and they pointed it to the curtain area because there was enough space for two people to try on in there. But you weren't just sharing the space with the other person. You were sharing the entire experience with the entire store. Luckily, all the men had to wait outside past the other curtain off area. Yep. I did notice that too. When you first walk in, there were the curtains and they had chairs sitting there. They didn't let any guys in the back where the dresses and everything were, which was really nice in that aspect, probably partially because they had see-through curtains. <laughs> but we did wait for an actual dressing room with a door. Yeah, it took forever. Yeah, But luckily but, we were where we were at, at in line because then a whole bunch of other people just like swarmed. Well, kind of. It, it was, there was always at least anywhere between 10 and 20 people in line at all times. Uh, it moved, it just wasn't moving super quickly because you figure four dressing rooms Half the dressing rooms, two to three girls went into together. Each one had anywhere from two to five dresses a piece. So the time it was taking them to try them all on. But with three, two to three girls in a dressing room, they were kind of knocking them out a little bit quicker. But, mm -hmm. you know, it was a fun experience. They had cookies afterwards. <gasps> and she enjoyed, enjoyed that. And she got a treat. Our kids don't get soda too often. So the fact that she got a Sprite... She's enjoying. And she has to finish it before we go in the house. Because if her siblings find out she had a soda, we could have a riot on our hands. And already like, hi. And I've got little ones at the window at the house watching us. So we've got to go inside. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I cannot wait until I have pictures of her completely done up for prom. Not going to be attached to this video, though, because you're going to have to wait over a month for that. Who yeah, wants not, to wait? Not, not until May. But we'll probably do a video at that time of Jasmine actually going to the prom. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later.